Hi, beautiful guys and gals. Taylor here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last time, uh, we arrived in the Hisui region in a very weird way by apparently falling through a black hole in the sky known as the Time Rift Hole. Uh, we met Professor Leventon and another trainer who's about, uh, the same age as us. His name is Ray. And, uh, we also met Captain Selene who uh, wants to see whether or not we could work for the survey corps. But anyway, this time we are going to meet with <coughs> we are going to meet with Captain Celine to see what kind of trial that she has for us. So let's go. You guys really seem to love the first episode, which I'm really glad for. Hey, Ray, he was waiting for us. Did you sleep all right? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. We better not keep Captain Celine waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. Oh, man. I hope Ray and I can become good friends. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What'd you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sat on my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack? Outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical courts will put you to rights. Uh, you uh, do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, well, you could well die out there. Well, you might even die, uh, you might die even sooner than if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Jeez, Ray, way to sugarcoat it. Captain Selene, ma'am, I brought Taylor. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable of going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different Pokemon and three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Three species right away? The none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy Team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our survey court statues to carry whatever you need, need in the field. Cool. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our statues in the least. It's normal everyday clothes. Ray, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. All right. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your art phone, and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Pardon, Taylor. Come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Taylor absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I got just a ticket to help accomplish that. Oh, is this where we get to choose our starter? Go on, Taylor. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Well, in my other game that I'm playing right now, I have, I'm playing with Oshawa, but I've already got it to evolve into its secondary form, so... I'm gonna go with Cyndaquil, actually. Yes, I do, actually. Come here, Cyndaquil. Come here. Ah. 
And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prulu Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I tucked Cyndaquil back in inside his Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. You received Cyndaquil. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Yeah. I made that mistake. I made that mistake once while playing. Look at those two cheer on their pal Cyndaquil. Or maybe they just wanted to help Taylor with her trial. That could well be. They'd go dashing from the village when Taylor fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the way, what species has Captain Celine charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Alright, I got 20 of them. Nice. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. You got it, Ray. Alright, where is he? So, uh, I constantly get confused on what screen I'm on, but... So, you press the X button to switch between Pokeballs and your Pokemon, which I thought was nuts. No, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, you can actually dash if you click the left joystick. Oh, who's this talking with Ray? Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Gingo Guild, the go-to choice for any mer mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now, that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and noble is key to any good merchant's success, so what do you say? How about you and I see our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I think I'm going to like this person. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you'll know you'll lose if your Pokemon HP reaches zero. Okay. All right, Volo, bring it on. What have you got? What? You've got a Togepi? Let's go, Cyndaquil. All right. Uh, oh, one of the th cool things you can do is you can move around during the fight. You don't have to stay in one place. Quick attack, go. Ouch. Hang in there, Cyndaquil. Ah, we did it. What great job, Cyndaquil. All right, level up. Oh, and Cyndaquil learned a new move. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change moves option. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only no more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help exercise our two battle... Uh, Blech. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. I kept, I keep mixing words up. Jeez. Thank you. And to you, my skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Thank you, Volo. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they may be worn out from battle. I'm, I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. 
Bolo is an interesting person, I'll say that much. If you can battle that well, I'm not a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Whenever you leave Jubilee City, you have to pick a destination from your map and let the rest of the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way someone could go collect that way someone can come collect you if things go wrong. Well hey, I hope you make it through this. Thanks, Ray. You're Taylor, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Thanks for the encouragement, I guess. Yes. Ooh, we got a camp out here? Cool. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the Professor's stories about you are really true. Oh, prof oh Professor, something wrong? Oh, God, Ray, that face. Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Selene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Taylor's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors. You'll see. So, in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started. You'll be more than equal to this, Taylor. For sure. Alright, so well, it looks like I need to catch a Vidu first. This is Aspiration Hill. Wow. Look how beautiful it is, guys. Look, there's a Bidu. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Celine taught me. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as you're nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be alright. Okay, Ray, let me show you how it's done. Okay. There it is. Alright, ready? Ooh, right in the face. Ow. There we go. We got it. One beat of caught. Now on we march. All right. Up next is a Starly. Oh, I see one. Now Starly here. It's the type to run at the drop of a hat. But not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into tall grass while crouch low, it'll, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. And Ray, don't run towards it! Oh, whatever. Okay, in we go. Alright, ready? Ooh, gotcha. At least I think. Yeah, got it. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's Starly caught too. I admit, I'm impressed so far. And finally, we need to catch Shinx. Where is it? I forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. To quote Captain Selene's wise teachings... Have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. 
Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. The captain's a real expert on these things. Then, once you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things, and it'll bring back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partner's... Now it's your partner's time to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. All right, ready? Watch this. Boom! <laughs> there it is, Shinx. Ah. Shinx has an aggressive death position. Did you know that already? Yep. That figures. Me, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice a thing like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it's picked to fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you gauge them in battle. But not to worry, I'll teach you the trick to catching them. Draw them into battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, you can throw a Pokeball and try to catch it. You've got a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you learned in your battle with Volo. Get out there and make your last catch. <laughs> got it. It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. If you could see that it currently... If you could see that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. Alright, let's go. Where is it? There it is. Ready? Ha! Ember, go! Ow. nuts. Well, I'm afraid if I attack it anymore, it's gonna faint. So let's try again. Come on! There we go! Oh, jeez, oh, Ray! My face! God! Wait, did you really... You really did! You did it! That's three species of Pokemon caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. God, Ray, don't make that face. It's scary. You must have given Professor Leventon the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escape Pokemon one after another. I honestly didn't believe the Professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. And here you are with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. Yeah. Oh ho, I say you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Taylor. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. I've got to admit, it's true. You've got real talent for this. Aw, thanks, Ray. Now then, we best report to Captain Celine. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? I really hope Ray and I become really good friends because he seems like a nice person. Even though uh, he didn't believe in us and said that we could die out here. Jeez. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught to go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Selene awaits our report at headquarters. I can wait to see the captain's reaction.
It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to that statue. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. <coughs> Thank you. You've received the Survey Corps uniform and a Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're to report once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let's get out of these weird clothes. There we go. And the sandals. And there we go. It's official. We're now part of the Survey Corps. <coughs> well, <coughs> we've got the uniform, but we're missing a vital part of it, which I think we'll get in a little bit. Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. But I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Ah, there we go. Now we're complete. A hat. Now present yourself to the commander. I wish the camera would be a little more uh, friendly here. Jeez. Hello. I've been waiting for you. Uh, I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition, Expedition Team. I can't speak. Hmm. So you are Taylor. Yep. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Uh, try to throw him? Wah! Ow. Eh, you got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Ah, ow. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Exp Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you, Taylor, Pokémon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Yes, sir. All right, we did it. It's official. We're now part of the Pokémon Expedition Team. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokédex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokédex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokémon. Here, you will need this. <laughs> ah, recipe for crafting Pokéballs. And three thousand dollars as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Thank you. 
Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting makes me means making items from scratch. I cannot talk tonight. That's right. Whatever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, you can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we crafted ourselves. But listen to me, Pratalon. Let's go to the craft work so you can try it yourself. Yeah, uh, when missions usually pop up like that, uh, it says that you can activate a guide, but I'm not doing that in my other game, which is making me lost at times, so I think I'm going to turn on the guide from now on. Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Amp. I'm a local... Lothier? Whatever. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes. So here you go. I do hope they fit. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you avail yourselves of the village humble shops. I may... I will. Oh, hey, Ray. Hey, hey, this way to the craftworks. All right, Ray, I'm coming, I'm coming. Gosh. He cannot wait to show me crafting, huh? <coughs> Excuse me. This here's the craft works, and that there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Sure. When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. And as for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that however you like. Any recipes you should get, uh... We'll tell you what materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. Yeah, I know I could have read that, but it's pretty, like he said, pretty self-explanatory. Explanatory. Uh, let's make... Let's make 16. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> He's so happy that we nailed it. Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that this is your first time stopping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, so that more Pokemon species can duly be recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. You received the Pokedex. Yes, as you can see, since we are in the age where technology does not exist, it's a book. A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Yep, as you can see, <laughs> it's a book. Here are all the Pokemon. much talking, jeez. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokédex, I'm sure. I've got to get going on those myself. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the field dance camp whenever you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Alright, fine. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here... If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Uh, sure, what's up? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask you will have a request icon displayed above them. If you fulfill the request, you may receive a nice reward. Yes, let's hear what he has to say. What's up? Hey, so there's a Pokemon called Wordful. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see... I was having a chat with Professor Leventon, and he told me after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance to become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. And so I decided well, I want to raise a Wordpool myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, would you let me have it? 
There will be a reward in it for you. I promise. Just give me a whirlpool if you can. Yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah, before I meet up with them, though, there is something. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here we go. These are pastures. Hi. The pastures house the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. Mm hmm I'm not going to use the Bidoof. But I am going to keep the Starly. Yes. Uh, when you click Pokemon, you could actually change their name. Instead of, uh... Instead of? What am I saying? You can change your, their name automatically. Uh... That's the thing. I want to check their summary first. Cyndaquil is going to be a permanent member of my team, so I'm going to change its name. But to what? Well, I named my other starter, Oshawott, after one of my favorite characters from Genshin Impact, which I do plan to name another Pokemon after, but not this, but not my starter. What do I want to name my starter? Hmm. Well, since this character is half ice, half fire... I was thinking we could name him after one of my five favorite characters in the anime My Hero Academia, Todoroki. That's perfect. That Starly's female, though. <coughs> we'll hold on to it for now until we can uh, find a better Pokemon to replace it with. Actually, no, I want to put it in the pasture. We're not going to use it. I'm already using one in my uh, other other profile oh there's a bidoof and there's the starly we caught look at them just chilling all right let's get out of here i've dwaddled on long enough where'd they go No. Oh, Pachirisu and a Sorley battling. Where did they go? Hold on. Where did they go? Uh, oh. Guys, where are you? Oh, I have yet to put on that everyday kimono and everyday trousers yet. So maybe if I ever go back to the village at some point in this gameplay, I'll uh, change into it. Yes. Out we go. Oh, there they are. Jeez, they already went out into the field. Um, I'm stupid sometimes. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are many research tasks I'll need you to help carry out. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Well, yeah, basically, if you go into the Pokedex, there, uh, I've already seen some of these, like, number caught, uh, how many times you've seen it use this move, uh, how many you've caught during the daylight hours, nighttime hours, uh, what else? Uh, how many you've caught without being spotted, all that stuff. 
You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain re research points and other rewards for your work. Now, there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Taylor. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go. Okay, did a little barrel roll. See, that's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's the key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. Oh, poor Ray. When those shinks got me with Thundershock, I might have been done for if the security corpse hadn't come and saved me. Poor thing. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Thanks. Yes. That is another major difference in this game. You can actually get attacked by wild Pokemon. And if they attack you too much, you actually black out and lose some of your items in your bag. So be very careful. Get ready for some Survey Corpse Wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the Down button to, the, to open the Pokédex. You'll see what tax you have for that Pokemon. Oh. Did you see that your research tasks for Bidoof include one of the how many you've caught? That's right, catching just one won't do it. You've got to get two, then four, and then more and more. <laughs> Hello. And when it's time to battle, Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Yeah, he wants us to catch multiple Pokemon, but... And we're not gonna... So, to dodge, press the Y button. Just like that. Hey, Ray. Got any more tips for me? Now I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokédex when you focus on a Pokémon to check your research task for it. Just hold the ZL button and press down. Try checking your task for Starly next. And let me get... <coughs> One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? You can get that done if you hide in some tall grass to catch him. Give it a try. I don't want to. He really... Yeah, he wants me to do these tasks, but I really don't want to. Fine. We'll catch this we'll catch this Starly and then get out of here. Okay, ready it? Okay. Stay in the grass. Stay in the grass. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Alright, uh, we got Starly now. Uh, let me check. It's... It's also female. Not too much. So, what we can do is that now instead of going to a... If this was an actual... If this was a... In modern Pokemon game, uh, you can actually... Re uh, when you get into the village, you can actually release them. But you can't do that while you're out in the field, I forgot. Wow, you can actually... Okay. Yes, I want to get out. Okay. Where's Ray? Get me up there. Wow, he went really far. Jeez. Oh, and I also found out while playing you can actually take fall damage. So, if you fall from a really high cliff, kind of like, hey, there's a Pokemon that we need. Okay, let's get into the tall grass. Remember, uh, that guard said he wanted a worm pull. So, let me see if I can line it up. Ready? Aim. Fire! Ooh, right in the back. Ah! Ooh. Okay. Thought he was going to attack for a second there. Hi there. Are you gonna... Where'd it go? It's gone. Ah, nuts. Okay. Ah, there's gotta be more worm pull around here. Oh, there's something right there. 
Oh, well, there we go. We got it. Okay, we got it. Nice. Ray, where'd you go, man? Oh, oh, there he is. He's down there. Man, you traveled far, dude. God. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to battle it to catch it. That means you'll have to try and hit it with its hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need the battle to catch it. <laughs> yes, the dangers of taking damage. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen turn red, you'll black out. Speaking of which, your research task for Buizel includes seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see the move in battle for it to count towards that task. So battling it is extra key here. I'm going out ahead. Catch up once you've checked off some of Weasel's tasks. Okay, whatever. Okay. Cyndaquil's not gonna be much of help here, so we'll switch to Shinx. Alright. Come here, Weasel. Quick attack, go! That's two levels higher than poor Shinx. I think one more should be fine. Ow! Yeah, that should do it. Ow! Ready? Got it. Whew. Nice. Okay. Let's use the potion. There you go, Shinx. Oops. And there you go, Weasel. All right. Yeah, I'm still uncertain whether I want to use Shinx or Weasel, because I did use Weasel for a short amount of time in my other game, and uh, I also used Shinx until it evolved into its final form, but I ended up changing it. What I'm trying to say here is I want uh, m this team that I'm playing on this profile be different from my other team that I've... That, whoops that I'm playing on my other profile. We'll go a little more and then we'll end things off. Man, Ray, what'd you, what'd you eat or drink for breakfast? Uh, energy drinks? Uh, what else? <coughs> You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Thanks. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. This thing is very useful. A kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there is no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. You can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items wherever and whenever you like. However, unlike at a workbench, you'll only be able to use the materials you, in your satchel, and you won't be able to craft more than items than your satchel can hold. Yeah, that's the sad thing about it. And here's a recipe for potions, too. Thanks, man. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials you have in your satchel. So as long as you got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or with an ordinary and a botanical or whatever leak, you can whip up a potion. So heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. Research going all right. You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokedex's cover. Okay. Anyway. Once you've got some tasks going and done, go check in with Professor Leventon. See you soon. Bye, Ray. All right. 
Are there any more Pokemon I can catch around here? Okay, that's a Starly. Anything new? If there's anything new, I'll catch it. If not, we'll go back. Because, uh... Look over there! Oh, are you aggressive, though? I don't want to find out. No, I'm not catching you. Oh, right in the head. Ow. All right, we got Ponyta. Nice. Oh, Shinx and uh, Starly learned a new move, too. Oh, pfft, whoops. Thank you, Shinx. And it learned and it leveled up, too. All right, uh, we got ourselves a Ponyta. I think we're going to keep that Ponyta on our team because uh, it's one of the uh, new Pokemon that I haven't caught in my other game. Wow, there are lots of stones around here. And there are Shinx around here, too. So I got to be very careful. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay. Horseshoe Plains? Is that what it said? Alright, just keep running. Keep running. We'll collect more tumble stones so we can make more Pokeballs later. Ready? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I think we're going to keep Ponyta on our team. Thank you. Okay. Bunch of shinks around here. Jeez. Like I said, Ray sure gets around a lot. <sighs> Can I climb up here? I can. Good. All right, let's go see the professor and hand things off. I also want to complete that task that, or no, that, that task, request that that one guard gave us back in the village to do, because I have the Pokemon. Hey, professor, how are you? Yes, I have. When you submit survey reports, you receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. <coughs> Look at all that. Wow, not bad. Mm -hmm, I see. Yep. If you raise a Pokemon to entry to level 10, that, in, that entry will be considered complete and you will have unlocked all the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Alright. Yes. Okay. Alright, get me out. Great. Uh, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up a rank. I'd recommend you work through your way through Beedus and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. Okay, so this tent right here, you can actually rest. You can rest for a little while, until morning, until midday, until evening, until nightfall, or you can stay up. I think I'll do mine until morning. All right. <sighs> All rested. Okay. I actually want to go back because I have that wormhole that that guy wants. Yes, I want to return to Jubilife Village. And then we'll head back out. All right, where is the guy? Hey, dude, look what I got for you. Yes, I do. It's right here on my team. Yes, Wormpole. 
It's time for you to leave. Yep. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beautica, Beautifred, or Eugene? I actually like Beautica. Yeah, I like Beautica too. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Beautica to be a Splendor if it's Beautifly. Wait and see. All right, request done. There you go. All right, let's go to those pastures again. Let's run. Jeez. I don't like moving so slow. But I think we can run out of... Yeah, we can't run for very long, unfortunately, because our character will run out of energy. All right. Look, there's our Pokemon just chilling in there. <laughs> All right, I think it's at when you're at the pastures. Yeah, then you can release Pokemon. That, that I was thinking of. Uh, yeah, we'll move you into here, and we'll release you. Yes. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, we're not going to use the Shinx, and we're not going to use the Weasel. Alright, so we have Todoroki, our Cyndaquil, and Ponyta, who I have yet to name. Alright. You know what? Since Ponyta is going to be a permanent member of a team, for sure, well, let's name it right now. You know what? We're actually going to name it one of my favorite uh, characters from another anime that I watch, uh, Attack on Titan, Levi. Perfect. Uh, I should start training with him. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Yes, I do. Back out into the field we go. Oh, you can also switch up your Pokemon and buy items from this guy, too, while you're at the camp. But anyway, guys, all right, I'm going to end this episode off here. In the next episode, we will continue to catch more Pokemon, so that way we can complete the research tasks and move up a, uh, and move up a rank in the Galaxy Expedition team. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!